Are you ready, bro? You ready yes. I'm ready. Let's go. Uh, <coughs> let's go. Okay. <coughs> okay. Ready? You go first. Okay. <laughs> I love him apologizing! <laughs> Alright, uh, good? Alright, yeah. you ready for the video? Yeah. Dang, turn on the camera. I see Charlotte smiling. What? what? Turn on the camera. Alright, alright, alright. It's all right. going? It's fucking going. Welcome to this video. On this one, we're talking all about niches. Niches in Kindle Publishing, which you should be publishing in, which you should not be publishing in, based on our Kindle Publishing experience. I've been publishing since 2016. Uh, I'm sitting here by the pool, by our Bali Villa, all paid for by book royalties. Yes, so sir. we do know a thing or two about publishing. <clears throat> We've been doing it for a while, published over 100 books. That's enough. Uh, about that, 200 that, now. That, that's about 200 now. Yeah. I wanted to assert some credibility in the beginning. That's, I think that's enough. Yeah. Okay. But so, the point is, like, I, we have a lot of experience so with all these niches. I want to start off with a big fat disclaimer about niches, like good ones versus bad ones. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> in my opinion, there aren't, okay, there are bad niches but with that said i think almost 99 percent of all niches are profitable let's there are more profitable and less profitable but almost all of them are profitable to an extent let's take a step back and define what a niche is because okay. a lot of people don't know okay? okay so there is a difference between a niche and a keyword okay so a keyword is basically what a book is about is the topic of the book while a niche is like a book category, mm -hmm. a category that your book would fall under, okay? Niche and categories, the same thing. Amazon calls it categories, but most publishers call it niches. Um, so we're can, actually, can we give an analogy here? Yes, let's give an analogy. So let's say books were food, books right? Are, yeah. So if you were to compare book niches to food, then there'd be like a different niche would be Japanese food, the thing, Mexican food. We'll, we'll do this, but I think most people know okay. what a niche and keyword is. But then within the niche of Japanese food, you have sushi. Sushi yeah. would be a keyword. This is just an excuse to talk about food. Yeah. So yeah. what? It's a good example. Yeah. Um, so that's the difference between niches and keywords. Keywords are more specific. And I want to say, I think there are a lot of shitty keywords. See, that's what you were saying before. There are, uh, there can be worse niches, mm -hmm. but there's no niche that you can't Make find something in. good in. Like, yeah. I would say Indian food was pr is probably a, a bad, a worse niche of food. Mm -hmm. It, 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 me, my opinion. Maybe we could talk about food in the comment section. But there is some good Indian food somewhere Butter chicken in there. is a good keyword with an Indian food. <clears throat> so let's go into the computer. Uh, right now we're here in the Kindle bestseller store. Let me disclaimer the non-fiction part of the bestseller store. Um, no fiction today. We will make a future video talking about non-fiction versus fiction. This video is all about non-fiction. Okay. If you here, if you're if you've not published a book, you want to know if you should do non-fiction or fiction. You should definitely do non-fiction. Fiction is not for inexperienced people who've never published a book before. Hey, you can make a shitload of money with fiction, but with no experience, it's exactly. like, it's, it's it's tough. It's very tough. It's very tough. We tried it in the beginning when we were not as experienced. It's not the point of the video. Okay. But so let me just show you guys how to get there. <clears throat> Kindle bestsellers. Search in Google. Here, click on this link. Wait for it to load. Go to Kindle eBooks. Wait for it to load again. Uh, wait a little mm. bit more for it to load. Jesus. So the internet is not working very well. Plus, it's starting to rain a little bit. Uh, so we're just gonna move this my party. Is way too expensive for this shit. Fuck the wire stuck in the table. Just bring the table. Just bring the table. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> don't don't it though. No, no, no. But we will move inside out of the rain and wait till the internet works. Right, I'm gonna move this one. Transition. <laughs> All right. So we're at a new location now. And before we hop into the computer, I want to talk about what is it that we look for. Uh, in our favorite niches. So the number one thing that I want in a niche I'm publishing in is high demand. Like high, high, high demand. Like the very highest, right? So there are three niches that we have in mind that have higher demand than any other ones out there. The big three. Right? So let's say what those three are. They are business and money slash business and investing. It's called both things on Amazon. Two, self-help. And then three, health, fitness, and dieting. So these are the three niches that have by far more demand than any other niche and this is where you're gonna find most of the most profitable keywords. About 80% of the best and most profitable keywords will come from about 20% of the categories. So this, like many other things, follows the 80-20 principle, also known as the Pareto principle, uh, where 80% of things come from 20% of things. That's how I like to explain it. Um, but yeah, the reason why uh, these three carry the majority of the best keywords is because these three categories 
uh, solve the biggest problems that humans are faced with. Well, that, that's why they have the highest demand. That is why they have the highest demand. Yeah, and those problems being people's health, which is solved within the health and fitness category, wealth, which is solved with the business and money category, and then love and happiness, which would fall under self-help. So that is why, just to give you some context as to why and not just do this, give you a little explanation behind it. Let's actually go into the computer now and show you what these uh, big three niches actually look like. So these are the 19 categories provided by Amazon within nonfiction. So this is what you could consider the 19 niches within Kindle Publishing. Uh, and right here, business and money, health and fitness, and self-help, we see the, the three we were talking about. All right, so now let's just open them up and uh, look inside of each of them. Business and money, self-help, health and fitness. So underneath business and money will be about 20 more subcategories. Things like entrepreneurship and small business, finance, investing, marketing and sales, personal finance, real estate. There's probably, no, there's not probably, there is hundreds and hundreds of really high demand keywords that people are just throw money at to learn about. And now looking at self-help, here we have about 10 additional subcategories, uh, things like stress management, spirituality, self-esteem, personal transformation, motivation, memory improvement, I guess falls under self-help, happiness, creativity. Self-help is probably the most umbrella term of them all. There are so many things that fall under self-help. Anything that just helps you get better improves yourself as a person, improves your life, like uh, personality, emotions, stuff like that, right? Confidence. Confidence, all like that. that stuff. And then the last one is health, fitness, and dieting. Uh, and then there's a lot of random ones like addiction and recovery. That Those are not that Not important. as high demand. Um, like health, fitness, and dieting is primarily carried by diet and weight loss. And personal health, nutrition, those are all related. Yeah. But, um, yeah. but diet and weight loss will have a bunch of the best-selling books within health and fitness. Now I'll say of the so, three mm -hmm. uh, niches, diet probably has the most competition at the moment, mm -hmm. right? So I personally, I don't know about you, I personally prefer business and investing and self-help. Agreed. Right? But uh, diet and health is still uh, a great niche because of how high demand it is. So actually when I got started with publishing back in 2016, I was only doing uh, health and diet and fitness. Mm -hmm. Those were, I had like, 30 books on different diets. And that alone brought me to around $10,000 a month in publishing royalties without even audiobooks, just ebook and paperback books. But a lot has actually changed since. So now I would say where we publish our most books in is now definitely business and money. Yeah. 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 I think the reason is just that most, it seems like most other self publishers have also been focusing on a diet niche. I guess it's a bit easier, you know, and you know the demand is there. Um, so I just kind of prefer to avoid that for now. That's not to say it's not good at all. Um, that's just a personal thing. I also know much more about the business and investing niche. That's basically all there, there is to say. There you go. Those are our favorite and definitely the best publishing niches to get in right now. We got to hit him with the magic emoji. Magic emoji. We're talking about it. What the hell is it going to be? Oh, this, <laughs> this one. This no. one. This one. Why? Why? I love Kindle Publishing. <laughs> that's why. That's why right there. So that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, all that good shit. Free training in the description. Uh, that's what it is. And let us know what else you guys want to see videos about.